glad to have you with us today. And today we're going to talk about the couch 2024. That's right. If you heard me right, the couch 2024. That's the candidate I'm going for. You know why? Because the couch is great. You can sit on it and sit it out. And what I mean is, is that um, we can sit it out. And I'm talking to my fellow, especially my black um, community. The couch is a great candidate because you know what? You don't like Trump. You don't like Biden. Guess what? You can sit it out. You can sit home like this couch behind me. That's going to be my candidate, you know? So now the reason why, you know, I'm trying to, you know, trying to make it funny. But on a serious note, the reason why I'm talking about the couch 2024, because the problem is, is that what I'm hearing um, in the community, what I'm hearing in the community, good news I'm hearing in the community is that in the black community, they're moving away from the Democrat. But some of them, but some, but on the other part of the community, I'm hearing people st- that they're still going to vote for Biden because of Trump possibly being the front. And more likely, Trump will be the front runner. If you saw last night, um, he won the caucuses by, by a mile, you know, and, you know, by tradition, of course, by traditional for the Republican side, they cannot, no Republican never won the Republican candidacy or presidency without winning Iowa is based, you know, based on historic data, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. But either way, it's on a serious note, we do have to talk about the couch because the couch is a great alternative because if you don't believe me, right, you don't believe me, um, it, let's look at Louisiana. Louisiana, I keep, I talked about, I talked by a long, long time ago, a few episodes back. And the thing is, is that the Louisiana election was a turning point because a uh, majority of Louisiana, which has a heavy um, black population, set it out. It turned red. And this is the first time in a long time that the state flipped from blue to red and the Republican governor won the governorship. Now, how is that possible? Because they set it out. Because of this, look on the screen, this couch right here, they decided to sit it out. Or they voted Republican, but majority of them did sit it out. Look at that couch. Look, look, just look, just look. If you're my visual, look how beautiful that couch is. Look, it's just, look how comfortable it is. It's nice. It's a three seater. You could just sit down there. Look at that fabric. It looks so comfortable. All it's missing a little TV for you to watch and just laugh. That couch, right there. So now, for people who are afraid about this approach, about well, okay, let me reiterate, right? People who are afraid about, okay, the turn to choice, that means Trump can win. We can't have that. Listen, again, we as a black community, we have to come together as a people. We have to get rid of this emotion because emotion has what for the past half a century has led to our downfall. This is why we're in a situation like this, because we ref- we refuse to look at the facts and what reality is. The reality is, is that Biden, if you put Biden back in office for me, and I'm telling you right now, Biden cannot win the presidency without the black vote. For all the people who are from other nationalities, it's a fact. I'm sorry. The biggest voting block of the Democrat Party is the black community. Because here's the reason why. Do you see the Democrats going to any other neighborhoods saying, hey, we need to vote for this. You need to vote. No, they go actively for the black community. They go out and advertise to vote um, Democrat because all the other groups, even though Y'all not loyal to the black community that vote Democrat because we've been voting Democrat for the past half a century. We have a track record. That's a fact. Now, now the thing is, is that this emotional baggage that we have, this emotional tie to the Democrats and this Democrat plantation, you know, and getting those butter bits, it's not worth it no longer. And I'm glad that look at Chicago, look at the black Chicago. They are literally threatening. They I remember I did a video you could watch a couple episodes back. They are I never thought I'll see the day that they would ask for Trump to come and sit down and let's have a talk. Matter of fact, it's not just Trump. They said Republican, independent, third party, whatever, this is your time now to come to Chicago. Because they are because what Brandon Johnson and the Democrats are doing down there is turning black people off and they say they're and it's gonna happen. They say next election coming up, not only Brandon Johnson is gonna be out of here, they're gonna flip that state. Just you wait. <laughs> and you think and you think and you think I'm playing. New York um possibly New York too. What I'm saying is is that the couch where I just showed you on the screen before, the couch is a safe bet because guess what? You can't get angry, you don't like Trump, you don't like Biden. What else to do? Sit on the couch. Or if you just gotta find it in your heart, you just gotta have that addiction that you have to vote. You can go vote and like I said before, you could vote third party. You could vote 
Republican as a protest vote. Protest vote. Am I advocating for Republican? Or you could just do a write in. You could write in the couch. I mean, hey, if you just got to have it in yourself, you have to be in that line and vote because of tradition. You just got to have it in you. But seriously, we really, we really need to get rid of this emotion baggage. We really need to start thinking because uh, we cannot afford another four years of Biden. You see what's going on in the migrants? You see what's going on um, with Chicago and everything? Now, you know, they have the money. It's been proven because guess what? They take they took our resources. They took the resource from the black neighborhood and gave it to the migrant. They came and vote. Then those same migrant disrespect us. Okay? The same migrant disrespect us. I seen a clip. Um, I seen a clip on YouTube and I'm trying to find it again, but there's a clip on YouTube that was in Chicago. They were having a city council meeting, the migrants in there, and they were telling this black person, you get no money. You are lazy. A migrant with a, with, that had a, a shirt that came from a black person. You can't make this up, folks. You can't. That's why they got to go. And that's why Couch 2024 is a very good candidate. Because once they sit it out, it's going to put not just the Democrat on, on blast. It's going to put the Republican Party on notice, too, and on blast. Because we need, to come become, we need to become more of an independent body. That's what we need to do. We need to become more independent. We don't, we don't need to belong to any party. Democrat, Republican, third party, we don't belong to any party. We are independent. Now, I don't want to hear anything about the Black Caucus or anything like that, because guess what? They vote Democrat. They're left-wing. They vote Democrat. The Black Caucus is an extension from the, black, from the Democrat Party. That is a fact. NWACP, too. All these black organizations, that they go, go, to, go to the organization. Try to do a donation. I guarantee you it'll go to Act Blue. And what is Act Blue? The biggest payment processor for the Democrats. That's right. Even Black Lives Matter. Go try to donate on Black Lives Matter. It's going to go to Act Blue. That's a tall sign that it's under Democrat control. What I'm saying now to us is that the couch 2024 is looking pretty good, looking like a good candidate for us. But like I said, you have other options. But we should not give our vote to the Democrat. They, they do not deserve it. They do not deserve it. And and again, for those of you guys who who's um and, and let me tell y'all for, for um, the people in the back that that still say, "Oh, I'm gonna vote Democrat Biden." Let me tell you something real quick. This is for you. You are anti-black because you know why you're anti-black because you see what Biden's doing to us, the black community, um, in your in your faith, and you still not care because you're on that Democrat point. It's true what people say. Getting those butter biscuit. okay? Because you see what Biden's doing. He actually don't care. Those Democrat mayors say we need help. He doesn't care. He don't want to stop the flooding of migrants that's coming into our neighborhood because they're putting them in our neighborhood and taking our resources. Okay? They don't care about reparation. You got Claiborne from South Carolina say, H, no, you ain't getting no reparation. But he doesn't talk to anyone like that. You got Raphael Warnock. They had brother Marshall um, who was running for representation of South Carolina. He went down there and asked Warnock at the time, what about uh, reparation? But he gave that white girl undivided attention and said, nah, just wave them off. And then his handlers came out to handle him. That's what I'm talking about. That is anti-black. And you refuse to see that. And I hate to say you will be left behind. Because if you put Biden in there four more years, it's going to be your fault. And I don't want to hear no crying about it because guess what? I'm going to cuss you out. And I'm going to put you because I got receipts. Because... This 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 twenty twenty the couch is a good candidate. You can always sit it out. You don't have to give your vote to Biden. And you know what? And, if you, and let me tell you another something. If you vote for Biden and you Biden get put up on, I guess it's true what he said on Charlotte um the Breakfast Club a few years ago. If you got a date between me and Trump, you ain't black. That is the most racist, blatant thing. And you're basically he's basically saying that the black the black people um the Democrats own the black people. That's what they're saying. And you forget that this party is the party of oppression for black people. Sure, the Republicans are racist. I ain't doubting that. They're racist too. But the Democrat Party has to been the one that's been oppressing us for all these years in the country history. Go look it up. Democrat. Black codes. Democrat. Jim Crow. Democrat. Who want to keep the slave? Democrats. And who's continuing today to oppress us? The Democrats. All this stuff. They don't even care about reparations. But yet they get people that look like us to trick us, thinking we're stupid, and we're not. Let's, let's prove them wrong, my black community. 2024, the couch is a great candidate. 
vote for the couch. All you have to do is very simple. All you have to do is just sit at home and sit it out. It's very simple. Don't like Trump. Don't like Biden. I'm cool with that. Just don't give your vote. Don't give your vote to um, either of them. Don't give your vote to the Democrats. Give your vote to the to the to this person behind me. This couch. That's all you need to do.